Well, today, I'm gonna take that generator, throw it in the truck, we're gonna swing by Justin's and grab a water tote. I got everything I need. We're gonna add another water tote to the water trailer at the cow pasture, and I'm gonna plumb them all together and get them filled up. It's getting pretty dry, so they can't really, I mean, I'm bouncing this camera everywhere. Uh, it's getting pretty dry, the pond's starting to get low, so. We hauled them some water the other day. I'm gonna haul them some more water today, but we're gonna add another tank to the trailer to help it out. And then maybe after we're done, I'm gonna come home and uh, shorten one of the chains on my baler. It's got a chain that's getting stretched out pretty well. So maybe we'll get some work done today. All right, well, I'm gonna scoot this generator forward. I'm gonna see if I can get this in my truck by myself. Hopefully I can. I'd like to get it done today. There we go. That should help. Alright, well, it's in there. Time to go to the next pasture. Well, I filled this up. It's 275 gallons. I filled it up, or me and Gil filled it up. Uh, say, probably about 36, 40 hours ago. Not not, not even two full days. They've, you know, they've only drank 75 gallons, so. They're still drinking out of that pond back there. I just hate for them to walk through all that mud. I don't, I'm always scared one of them's gonna get stuck. Had it happen before, and that's kind of crappy whenever that does happen. So we're still gonna put that on there, and I'm still gonna fill it all up. But I'm gonna pump a lot of this one into all these buckets because I was always putting these buckets on the back of the trailer, and we'd fill these up too, and they're all empty. So they they drank all those. So this would usually last about three days. You'd have a little bit left. Four days, it'd be completely empty. So this ought to give us about a week. So it'd be a little better. All right, well, what I'm gonna do first is this valve is, that valve doesn't function. It, the baffles broke off. So this screws on there and then it's just got water hose threads coming out of it. So I'm gonna come off of this and go that way towards the other tank. We're gonna do this first. That way I can go ahead and put a shut off. Go ahead and put the shut off valve on real quick and that way I don't have to waste a bunch of water. So we're gonna make that and then we'll make it come off of there and meet it. Oh, there's still the water. And we'll this to the, to the next. So, and then we'll Put it all off there and put it back to the float valve on this one. And if I've got time tomorrow, there's a concrete water trough right over there. I'm gonna drag it out. We'll fill it up and then I'll have to fill these tanks up again. That way we'll have over a week's supply of water. We don't have to come water as much whenever it is dry outside and we have to water. But I've had this place a year and a half and we've this is only the second time we've ever had to water we had to water back about two months ago it got real dry in january and we watered for about two weeks then but we started getting some rain now it's getting dry again so i got it kind of as ready as i can get i got everything kind of mocked up but i just gotta wait for this tank i am gonna have to finish emptying it so oh well i got time it's still late morning it's taking a lot longer than I thought because I had to wait for this to drain but I got this plumbed out to here right in front of the fender and then goes into there the valve on this tank as far as I know works I know on that tank it doesn't but just in case you still got an independent valve for each tank so I do want to get a third tank I've got room for a third tank and then I want to make a, a kind of like a triple Y setup to where I just have to hook the pump to the trailer on the side as of right now I just have one hose on an electric pump and it goes into there and then move it to this tank I'm kind of curious if I imagine it will turn all the valves on this tank should fill up some while I'm filling the other one up so we'll see it used to take about 20 minutes to fill one tank up so Oh well, once a week ain't too bad. Like I said, I only got to do it when it's dry. Man, 
takes took 45 minutes to fill both of these up but i'm gonna drag these over here so i'm gonna start parking this right here closer to the concrete get it all hooked up I thought I seen a leak. Oh well, hopefully I didn't. Good news is, hey, just for the time I was taking to fill that up, the cows went off eating. They're starting to go out and find their own forage instead of eating the hay bales around here. So that's good. It means we should be able to stop feeding hay here pretty soon. So I'm gonna come out tomorrow do some mowing and i never did finish mowing in the back i don't remember if i made a video last time i was here mowing but i never did finish mowing in the back so we're gonna finish mowing in the back and that's about it but i'm gonna get this all hooked up got it hooked up it's you know it runs kind of slow but it's got plenty of time to catch up between animals i got to put the cap on i'm gonna do some driving around i want to see what, how the grass is growing all right well this is this main chain for the this big chain for the baler it runs this top roller up here it's pretty short i'm just about maxed out on the adjuster so i'm gonna take probably a whole link out i just need to find the master link i had it found a while back i just need to find it again so i was gonna shorten it a while back but i got busy just like always Go get a screwdriver and scrape some of this grease off till I find it. All right, I found a master link. It's right there. I'm going to go ahead and back that adjustment all the way off so I can pull this chain out. All right, I got the half link on. It's held on by a little cotter pin. So we're gonna go ahead and twist that up. There we go. That's what the half link looks like. We're gonna run it back through. All right. I got the get out of the way for the light. I got the link installed. I uh, I just need to go up there and tighten that. And then this chain that runs back there to the main roller, I'm gonna replace it. But I'm not gonna do that today. I'll get that probably this week, maybe next week. But I'm just gonna come up there and tighten that. But the reason I'm just took a link out of this one is this one didn't stretch too bad this year this one every time i build well, i'd have to tighten it <coughs> so we're gonna we're gonna replace this chain i've got the chain to do it so climb up there tighten that and that'll be it for today i'm gonna go work on my farm truck after this on the yellow truck <laughs> 